This video is sponsored by Not Alone Studios. Okay, just another rip story was um, I wrote this down during the lockdown and I didn't even write it for myself. I was like really bored and my friend was like um, he feels like he wants to get busy during the lockdown so he thinks I should just write scripts for him because he doesn't write. So I wrote about four scripts and stuff and then I sent it to his mail. That was during the lockdown. All of the scripts were things that had social impact and that could influence societal change. So we had those things scribbled down and I sent it to his mail and I never, you know, went back for it. It was until like early this month where my computer crashed. So I was just trying to find some documents. I was like, I think I, I saw, I don't just randomly, I was trying to check for, because I lost all my documents and I was going through my mail to see if I could recover some documents and I just stumbled upon this particular story and I was like, did I ever write this story? It was it was new. I was like, oh my, ah ah. So when I, when, I, when I saw the story again, then that's when I even re I read through. You know, it just brought back because I'd forgotten I ever wrote something like this. I didn't even remember. So when I wrote through it, I was like, well, this thing is really nice. And since he didn't shoot, I was like, okay, I'm taking back my script. And I'm writing, I'm going to shoot the script. And I had just do it before the year runs out. Just do something before the year runs out. And try to tell one more story that's relevant before the year runs out. From the beginning, it felt kind of uncomfortable. But going on, I started being free because working with Kingsford and Sa ES ESM and Dauda, although the the role was kind of <sighs> at some point I felt I felt I was the one in the shoes of what I was playing. Like I felt it was me, it was happening to most times I shed tears was was real, like from my heart, like I was feeling Okay, if this such things happen to ladies out there, how do they feel? How does it happen? Like the way she was scared and all that, the way the role came out was though the whole thing is fun. Oh baby, can I chop you? Can I chop you? Chop small off food plate. Working with Val was quite um easy. You know, I've met a lot of cast and and some will come to set and they don't really want to blend, but I could see her blending and um, I tried to break forth the wall between me and her and she, she responded quickly and that helped us and I think I have future and hope that we'll work more with her in the future. But the way she move feel her aura, it's just all over. Are you a magic shine? I think media is a platform that amplifies the hidden things happening in a society like societal problems. I think a lot of problems will be had and a lot of problems will be put into consideration and a lot of problems will be solved. Not really solved, but I think it will go a long way to create social awareness about the wrongs or the social happenings in the society. So the media is a kind of a big platform in this our dispensation that amplifies the voice of people, the voice of the masses, the voice of the victims that were raped and this will go a long way if we continue to script this thing and shoot them. Untold stories basically. I like to tell untold stories and I like to tell stories that have social relevance and you know that could you know shape and just make the world a better place.